Hey, what's up guys and gals? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create editorial layouts super fast. Now I'm gonna start with a blank document like I have here in InDesign, and you can see that it has a half inch margin and a one eighth inch bleed, but I'll get to that in a moment. So the first thing I like to do is add some guides. Like it's hard to design things without guides. You know, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the layout menu and I'm going to select margins and columns. So layout, margins, and columns. And it's going to bring us to this box. I'm okay with the half inch margin. Some publications are different. Some are 0.375, some are a quarter of an inch. I think a half an inch is good. But this is what I really want to modify. So I want to jack this all the way up to 12 columns and I'll show you why in a minute. So I'm going to change the column number to 12 and I'm going to say OK to that and you can see here it gives us 12 columns. And I like that like I didn't say two columns or three columns because I can always you know create the whatever amount of columns I want over 12 columns. So that's why I like those as as um, that setting as my column width. So now I need some horizontal lines and you'll see some people do this. They'll go to the layout menu and create guides and that's not wrong. You know, you, if you were to go to create guides, you could go in here and set your rows and columns. That's not wrong. Um, but for my rows, I'll hit cancel to back out of this to create rows, horizontal lines. I like to go to the view menu. And I'm going to go down to grids and guides and I'm going to select show baseline grid. I like the baseline grid because you can align things um, automatically to the baseline grid. There's a lot of different options that you can do. So I'm going to select show baseline grid. And of course, the baseline grid is not going to show up, <laughs> but I'm going to show you why. Uh, you didn't see it show up because the default is that they only show up when the when you're viewing the document at 75%. And you can see here I'm under 75%. I'm at 65. I'm viewing this document at 65%. So to change that, I'm going to go to the InDesign menu, Preferences, and I'm going to go down to Grids. And it's going to take me here. And here is where you change the setting, the threshold. So I want it to show up, you know, I can take it all the way down to 5% if I want. Usually I just do like 25% because I'm usually not viewing the document any uh, less than 25%. So I'm going to select 25% here. So it's basically saying baseline grid show up, you know, at anything above 25%. And also I want to change this setting down here. Instead of grids in the back, I like grids in the front because pictures and things will hide them. So I'll change that. And again, that's under the grids tab under preferences. So once I say OK to that, you can see, bam, they show up. So here is my baseline grid. So now I've got my rows and my columns. And I'm just going to start adding some text, adding some uh, rows of columns, rows and columns. So I'm going to hit T on my keyboard. And what that does is, in your tool panel, that selects the type tool. So you just hit T, not Command T or anything, just T. And then I'm just going to start drawing out some columns. Now I hope you can see this. Now as I'm drawing, and maybe I'll just draw over here. See how you can see that column? I'm drawing it out. I'm clicking and dragging. As I'm dragging, I'm going to hit the right arrow. I'm just tapping the right arrow on my keyboard. And see here, if I draw it out to the margins and I hit the right arrow again, I've just created three columns. So if I wanted a three column grid, and I'm just going to take it all the way down to the bottom also. And you'll be able to see this more clear once I add some text. But now I'm going to zoom in. You can see here I've created three threaded columns so that when I insert text, they're going to thread into each individual column. So let's just do that. I'll put my cursor in here into the first column. You can see my cursor there. And then I'm going to go to the type menu and I'm going to say fill with placeholder text. And so when I do that, it does just that. It fills all my columns with placeholder text until I get the real text. 
And I like threaded because if I were to grab my move tool here, which is this black arrow, I can do what I like to call push and pull. So if I were to select these columns, I can just you know, push these down here. Or let's say I want to add a picture. I can grab my picture box here. And let's say I add a picture here. Uh, maybe like right here. And maybe I just fill that with like gray. So I say well, my picture will go there. You see my my uh, guides are really helping me line things up. That's why it's great to use a grid system. Um, let's say I want this text to be a bigger column. See, I'm just going to grab the center here and I'm just going to pull it up. So I'm just pushing and pulling, or maybe I won't pull it up all the way. Maybe I'll pull it right there and put a caption for the picture here. So I'll grab my type tool again and maybe I'll just put like, you know, a caption here. I'm going to fill that with placeholder text. Notice I'm not really worrying about styling my text yet. In another video, I'll show you how to create paragraph styles. Right now, I'm just sort of, I'm just sort of wireframing it. So my caption will go here. You know, this text I've kind of pulled up here. Or maybe, you know, maybe I want another picture down here. So I'm just going to grab the bottom of this column and pull it up. So I'm kind of doing like a little push-pull kind of technique here. And I'm going to grab my picture box again. And let's say I'm going to put a picture right in here. And I'm using my, my guides, my baseline grid, and my columns to help line things up. If you want to see how you're doing, you can um, just tap W on your keyboard and that goes into preview mode and that's the same thing as going to view screen mode and bouncing back and forth between normal and preview just hit W so I'm gonna bounce out of that and I hit W again to see under the hood I hit W to see how my layouts going maybe I wanna put a headline in here so I'll tap W again and I'll just kinda of push push this up I'll worry about what picture to put in there later and I'll grab my type tool again and maybe I'll just put you know, headline goes here, and I'll just make that bigger. And the shortcut for that is Option, oops, Command Shift greater than or less than, Command Shift greater than or less than to make your type bigger or smaller. Or you can just go up here to the, you know, to the Options bar or in your Character panel and just change the size however you want to do it. And I'm going to close that up. Again, align things up. I might go in here and add a subhead, or I shouldn't call it a subhead, it's called a, a deck. And maybe I'll go in here and just fill that with some placeholder text. Again, I'm not really styling anything. I'm just, oops, whoa, come back here. Sorry about that. I'm gonna hit W on my keyboard again, just by pressing W. I can kind of get into presentation mode here. You know, maybe I'll put like a byline in here. So, by me, how about that? Okay, I'll zoom in on that. So as you can see here, you can create layouts really, really fast um, using this kind of push-pull technique where you first draw out text, individual text boxes and again, you can do that by grabbing your type tool and just clicking, dragging, and then using your left and right arrows on your keyboard to create the columns automatically threaded. And then you can kind of decide where you want your pictures to go or if you want, you know, maybe a little header up here. But the idea here is to just kind of get down the basic layout really quick. And then from there, you can go in and start applying paragraph styles to let's say your headline, your deck, your body text, your caption. But this is a great way to just kind of push and pull picture boxes and text boxes around to where you can get your layout going really fast.